Hi everyone, it's Lanka. As I mentioned in my uh, last video, I went to the thrift shop uh, last week to look for some crochet hooks, which I didn't find, and also leftover yarns, because uh, I am planning on uh, knitting some uh, leftover uh, socks, <laughs> uh, actually socks made of uh, leftovers, different colors and patterns, that's my plan. And yarn, at least here in Norway, a lot of these yarns are very uh, expensive, over $10 for one of these. So. I found lots of uh, great yarns. These four here are the same quality and uh, I, th they are some kind of wool, very soft. It's not uh, very thick, but uh, I'm not sure if this is mohair or um, alpaca. I think maybe this is mohair. And uh, those are the colors, so I picked up those. Also, these, these are alpaca wool. Uh, these two are the same um, quality. And they are so soft. I love, love these. And can you see, <laughs> uh, it really shows uh, my fav favorite color is blue tones. <laughs> and uh, this one, they, they had, uh, three of this uh, same uh, color and this is merino uh, wool and very soft as well and gray that goes with everything so I picked up that one and these are also I think uh, I think actually all of these are wool and they are so soft and look at these it has a almost like a pearl uh, color to it this is uh, sparkly can you see that this uh, sparkles in that uh, gray thread so pretty in this one too maybe this is my favorite light light blue blue grayish with some silver sparkles in it so they had only these uh, small uh, leftovers but uh, I think it's enough and this one too of course is uh, my favorite love this color and they are so soft and this light light lilac so pretty and just variations of blue and grays this one is uh, not as soft but uh, it's wool and this is very very soft and it's uh, sort of like a blue grayish color actually and then I of course had to go and look what I had and I found so many things <laughs> oh my gosh they had this uh, trim here look how pretty that is it um, very bright uh, purple, uh, very lightweight and soft, and it has uh, little sequences here and there, silver edge, and uh, there is a lot on here. I, I don't know how many meters or yards, but this uh, I had to have this. And this uh, these things I always pick up if I find, find them, not very often, but these are the traditional um, Norwegian woven bands that I use in um, bunads, the uh, traditional Norwegian uh, uh, suit that we use for our celebrations and national day and such. A lot of these on the men's garments and also uh, on Norwegian traditional clothing. So some of these are hand made. I am not sure if this one is. It's hard for me to tell, but they are uh, woven and uh, uh, I have to pick up these 
actually found out quite a lot of this. This is only one yard, so I uh, had to have those. And gosh, I found lace, which I really never find. <laughs> and But they are all black. I don't uh, use uh, black as often, but uh, if I find lace, I pick it up. And this one is very pretty and it's... Uh, so um, soft, very soft this one, look at this uh, pretty pattern here and there, I, I don't know, it didn't say how much is on here but there is quite a lot on here too. This was also is a very soft and pretty pattern, love this, so I, I, I like the soft tin laces best because they don't make as much um, bulk in the projects and this oh my gosh look at this one it's so wide you see the pattern you can uh, i wonder this must be almost five or six inches and there are a lot on here as well so I think that I will not be able to use all of these laces myself. So if anyone is uh, interested, uh, I will leave my uh, email down below in the description box where you can contact me if you want to uh, buy some of uh, those. So um, then we can talk about it. So because there are so much and they have this uh, small section uh, where they ha have leftover fabrics so I picked up this piece it has uh, tiny tiny bows onto on here and it's a, a soft uh, green so I picked up that one and this one too because I love the the pattern the flowers and this is uh, uh, some kind of linen fabric so it's uh, always fun to have different uh, textures and this one is uh, a tablecloth and it has this uh, raised sort of embossed pattern on it this this beautiful beautiful pink roses so I had to have that as well, shiny, it shines and not sure what you call this kind of fabric. And this was the last one because uh, it had uh, also this raised uh, pattern with roses, not sure if see there you see the shine and the pattern really pretty deep dark red burgundy color and then we have the books <laughs> uh, I will start with this that uh, I was very excited to find it's Rosemaling the traditional uh, Norwegian old uh, painting technique and this is also it's in both English and Norwegian and it's from uh, 1973 so it has uh, Norwegian and English um, explanation throughout and it's about uh, techniques it you can it teaches you how to paint all of these uh, patterns and what they are called look at these they are so cool i've never seen a book like this before and here it's uh, explained about marbling and techniques there's a pretty pattern of different flowers how you build it paint it and yes uh, hatching so this is a really cool book and edgings, 
different patterns and motifs, how you can paint these. So it's sort of um, proverbs and sayings to paint on bowls. Oh, it says uh, the sayings here. And this is the hulling style. This is so cool, this book. I love this. So I, there is a pattern here and there. So this was a great, great find. I also found this uh, chunky plastic uh, thing with um, uh, religious sayings, almost like uh, uh, prayer cards almost. So they, there are a bunch of them, both uh, in white and this paper here. Not sure what paper it is. I think they are quite old. The fun thing is uh, a few of them, not very many, was in German, most of them in Norwegian, but also a few of them in um, English. So again <laughs> i have a bunch of them if you are interested in any of these uh, just send me an email and we can work something out then i found this book flowers in norway and it's filled with uh, uh, botanical pictures on every page beautiful images we all love these kinds of books. I was excited to find this one. Oh, so I have a lot of uh, these to use in journals now. Really pretty illustrations in them. And then I found this. I haven't seen this either. Spring Valley photograph album. And it has lots of frames in it and beautiful illustrations so you can place your photos in in these and i will find a way to <laughs> use this as well i just had to have it i don't know exactly what i will use it for but uh, you know sometimes you see something and you just have to have it it's beautiful too the the book itself really pretty and then we have a lot of children's books. <laughs> this is a, a song book for um, uh, youths, teenagers, it says. And this is from 1986. And it has lots of these um, music sheets and illustrations and uh, text in... Um, different languages, uh, most um, Norwegian and English, but also some in German and uh, yes, different. Oh, this I think is French, yes, from French. So this is uh, Swedish and really fun. Uh, and I think most of these are um, very classical, classical uh, songs. So that was fun. And I also found this, my first bird book, it says. So this has lots of illustrations of birds and eggs and, and tells us uh, how they travel from winter and spring and but I bought it for the pretty illustrations in here and lots of children's books this is a little uh, um, suitcase teddy bears and it has all these uh, books four books with teddy bears and they are these uh, heavy uh, chipboard or uh, cardboard 
um, pages, both the covers and all the pages are these. But I was thinking uh, to take these apart and use those uh, to, um, to make covers on journals. I think those would be perfect for that and the teddy bears are so cute. Uh, it's the same teddy bear on all of these. <laughs> so they are so cute for children's book. Look at this. Very pretty. How cute is this? So I have four and again, I don't need four of them. So let me know if you are interested again, write me an email. And then I have the ugly duckling and 12 known fairy tales. This one is so cute, 1996. But the illustrations are so pretty. Look at this, <laughs> this face, <laughs> it's so cute. And these have um, 12 fairy tales. Uh, Cinderella and Snow White, Hans and Greta and different not sure what all of them are called in English, but look how cute these uh, pretty, um, lots of lots of pretty illustrations. The goat and bears, so fun. <laughs> Both colors and smaller black and white. Love this, and this is the big rhyme. This is Rhymes Nursery Book. It's from 1992. A lot of these books looks like they haven't even been opened or read. So this this has lots of smaller pictures, which also are um, very. Um, Fun for use in journals, either on tags or smaller journals. Some, all, uh, sometimes these uh, children's books have very large pages with large illustrations on them, and uh, you can't fit them in your journal all the time. So, but look at these pretty drawings and illustrations. Oh, I love these lamps. So, and I had more books too. I couldn't pick up all of them. I have more to share. <laughs> so lots of lots of uh, beautiful images in here. And what I all also can do, uh, if you're interested, is uh, if you don't want to uh, buy a, a whole book. Uh, let me know if you want me to make some kits with a variation of uh, these pages you see here. Because uh, I'm not sure, but uh, for me I think it's so fun to have uh, book pages from different countries. And uh, this, these are all in Norwegian, so uh, if you want me to make some um, kits I can do that too. So Alice in Wonderland, I always pick those off, up if I find find them. Not very often I find, find them, but look at this these two illustrations I have never seen before. And that especially uh, catch my eyes. So there's an uh, Alice and the rabbit. And uh, I haven't seen uh, this version of uh, Alice before so that I think is very fun and this looks like it's never been used it's uh, cool illustrations in here 
There she is, <laughs> all big. And uh, this, this is another one. This is an older one, it's from 1979. But again, I have not seen this uh, version of Alice before. Uh, so that's, that's very fun to see the same uh, stories with different uh, images. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Uh, but so bright colors and happy colors. So fun. Lots and lots of them. And then we have another one with um, a teddy. So cute, these illustrations too. Like um, pictures of real soft uh, stuffed animals. I oh, look at this bunny and oh, it's so fun. A duck and this one too. Don't think it has been opened. And this look how cute. And a giraffe, different animals. Very pretty. And then we have a book about trolls. This says the troll kid, the troll child's Christmas wish. There's a sticker on here. Um, lots of trolls. So here we have illustrations of trolls and also a Santa. So it's about Christmas, this one. <laughs> Santa and his helpers. And there we have trolls, which also is typical Norwegian, the trolls. And then I have these two books, which I love. And Snow White and Rose and Red. Uh, this is uh, from a fairy tale from the Grimm brothers. I think those were German, if I am not mistaken. Um, 1981 it says. So here we have again pretty colorful illustrations. <laughs> There's a, a gnome. <laughs> and they, I think also there were more of these books but I couldn't buy them all. I, I need to have room for them. And this is about elves. This is from H.G. Anderson. In, uh, that's a Danish writer. I think most of you know him. He wrote, wrote a lot of fairy tales. So look at all of these fairies. Beautiful illustrations. So these uh, books will come apart so I can, as I said, make some kits or if you see a special book you would like to buy, you can ask me. I'm not sure if I will sell all of them. This is about a professor and um, the flamingos, uh, a travel. So this book has lots and lots of flamingos in it. You can see they travel all around the world. Different countries and very nice uh, illustration. Look at this. And they are around the world. And that was it, all of my beautiful haul, <laughs> which I couldn't help myself, of course. So let me know 
if you are interested in any of these and thank you again so much for watching everyone have a nice day bye bye